Hi, so this is a first tutorial in plot processing and we will, uh, here is Computry. You should have knowledge of basic functionality in Computry and I will just load uh, the test cloud. Um, so I can visualize it. So it works with other clouds, of course, as well. Um, and uh, what we first want to do is to generate a DTM. So I open the step manager. I go to points and I go to classify ground points. Points classify, classify ground points. I leave this uh, normally, it's recommended from my side, uh, this is Alexandros plugin, to leave it with standard parameters to show you something. Um, I, um, I uh, put here 70. You, can, you don't need to do it when you do the tutorial. I just want to add some noise. It wasn't good what I did, but... Um, So I made the slice a little bit thicker, so we have more points here, and I show you this can happen if the plot is more complicated anyway, even if you don't do this unrecommended adjustment. And now I um, go to a filter and remove noise from detected ground points. So I put in the ground points which I created in the last step. I set here an angle for uh, normal orientation. So what the plugin does is uh, the step does it fits a rough plane into all the points, one plane to handle them all. It this plane has a normal and the ground points don't have to vary more than these 45 uh, degrees from this normal. So we can do it. And so we have here now the filtered points without the interference. And I removed all of this. So yeah, now we have really good uh, um, ground point already in which we might be able to fit with multiple techniques a DTM. Um, I go to um, raster, digital elevation models, uh, the simple tree one. It has the same name like the ONF one. And I put here my denoised ground points. Um, so you can prevent the plug-in, uh, the DTM, from going uh, below or above this Z height. If you uncheck this, those values will be used. And if you check uh, this clipping box, it will compute from the min-max extension of your denoised ground points. Mm, this is just for extrapolation. I want to have 80 centimeter raster cells. I don't know why. People which I know work with this resolution. And now I can check the result. We have here a DTM generated. Um, I can modify the view. And go. Activate 3D mode and deactivate the raster mode. So we have points below our DTM and above the DTM. This is already quite good. And yeah, those points, they are not accounted to. Uh, it's quite stable, hopefully. And I stop this tutorial here and we will see in the next step what we can do.